Mr. Chairman, this is not to say we have already re reached our goals. We still face a number of challenges with regard to infrastructure development in energy, transport and communications. And although improvements have been seen in recent years, the reality of the HIV AIDS is there in our country and we have somewhere to go with regard to having a wealth, a health and efficient workforce. What can businesses do? Ladies and gentlemen, the private sector in any country is important with regard to driving and sustaining growth. The government can put in place the necessary environment, but with limited participation from private capital, there is limited scope for sustaining growth. Private capital is therefore very important for enhancing, enhancing growth. I'm encouraged to note that over the course of the, the evening, we'll be honoring various business people who have excelled in their operations. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate them. In doing so, allow me to also encourage those receiving awards today to share their, their knowledge so as to enhance the operations of other business people. Let me now address the issue of what business should do. In the light of the current global environment, the need for inventiveness and innovation cannot be overemphasized. The world has truly become a global village, and only those companies that are able to stay ahead with regard to use of higher research and development will be able to survive. What can advanced economies and international organizations do? I said here that I will share our experiences in Zambia about uh, the participation of the Chinese in our economy. A question was posed uh, when we were in our deliberations there as to why many countries are now going for Chinese investment and Chinese capital. Uh, our experiences in Zambia are that the answer is simple. Our traditional partners in the West uh, will usually, like in Zambia, participate in their traditional areas such as education, health, and um, when it comes to infrastructure and other areas of investment, the Chinese have come in in a big way. When we go to our traditional partners, of course, the issue of conditionalities, and this has been mentioned, are uh, coming invariably. They will talk about governance issues, human rights, corruption. We get the impression, the feeling that uh, uh, our governments, this perception of corruption features uh, very highly on the conditionalities. With the Chinese, there are hardly any conditions which they will put. Of course, you have to negotiate. You need negotiating skills. You have to look for alternatives. The Chinese sometimes will offer you loans on their own. Uh, they will show interest in certain types of infrastructure, in energy, roads, 
much facility economic zones. In Zambia, they are developing much facility economic zones. When the economic crunch started uh, unfolding, some of the companies started closing their mines. What did the Chinese do? They came to us, they said, with us, we'll never close a single mine. In fact, they offered to invest in the closed mines. 